Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie from QNAP. I'm here to talk about the brand new QTS 4.0 OS. To be specific, the intelligent desktop with its new features and applications that make your NAS experience much more fun and convenient. The intelligent QTS desktop lets you drag and drop to create shortcuts of applications, along with multiple desktop to easily organize applications due to their nature or genre. You can also easily create folders to categorize icons and apps. The intelligent desktop is very personalized. You can personalize your desktop by changing background and wallpaper to your own preferences. Also, you can place your frequently used app icons onto your preferred desktop. Multitasking has never been this easy. You can open multiple windows all at once and switch between the windows on the toolbar. A new embedded feature of the QTS desktop includes the real-time event notification status icon, which lets you see any warnings and errors of the NAS. You can set it to send notification via text message or email. There is also an external drive icon, which lets you quickly see the statuses of the connected USB or eSATA external drives on the NAS. With only one click, you can eject or disconnect those devices. Background tasks will show you all the running tasks such as your backup, download, virus scanning, or transcoding statuses. One more great feature of QTS 4.0 is the Smart Dashboard, which is a great utility that provides an overview of the NAS system, including the hard drive health, CPU, RAM, hard drive information, storage status, and scheduled tasks. Each module can be dragged and dropped into the desktop for 24-7 easy monitoring. I'm here at the login page right after you install and configure your NAS, you'll get to the same page. I'm going to log in with a default username and password, which are both admin. Once you're logged in, you will see the new interface of the desktop. On the upper left corner, you can see the main menu which will show you all of your applications, system controls, and third-party applications that you've downloaded onto your NAS. As you can see, it's very easy to use and understand as you can drag and drop any of the applications onto the main menu to the QTS desktop as shortcuts. Right now, I will drag high drive onto the desktop and create a folder and group Plex and High Drive into the same folder. Now I will open multiple windows such as Photo Station and File Station and run them all at the same time on the toolbar. When I open one and want to get back to the desktop, I can press the Show Desktop button and it will shrink all the windows back to the toolbar. This icon shows you the background tasks. I just started a remote replication job. So here says that it's 4% done. The next icon will show you all the external devices that are connected to the NAS. You see I have an external USB and now it shows the name of the device. I can also eject with one click. Over here is the event notification icon. It will show you all the warnings and errors so you can be updated at all times. Over here, you can quickly personalize your QTS desktop with your own profile pictures and select different wallpapers that are built in or even change it to your own photo. This tab lets you change your password and there are also some miscellaneous options that you can do with the desktop. When you press the admin or your own username, you can see all these options such as changing password and restarting or rebooting the whole NAS. The search bar lets you search all the apps and features of the NAS. The resource button will direct you to the tutorials, wiki, QNAP forum, customer service information, and feedback report center. The globe button will allow you to switch to your preferred language of the OS. When you click desktop preference, you can change different types of settings such as detailed thumbnails, window, or tab mode of the OS. Another feature of QTS 4.0 is the multiple desktops. You can utilize this feature by organizing your apps and icons to your own preferences. If I wanted a desktop dedicated to multimedia only, I can drag and drop from the main menu right away. Lastly, one of the coolest features of the QTS 4.0 is the new Smart Dashboard. 
As you can see, it's a graphic-based interface, and you can also drag and drop all the module you would like to constantly monitor onto the desktop, such as your system health, hard drive health, resource monitor, hardware status, storage status, and more. Thank you for watching this general overview of the QTS Intelligent Desktop. I will be coming up with more videos and tutorials, and I hope you like it. Thank you!